Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you some methods to fix error code 0 x e 0 n on Modern Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2 on Windows PC. Firstly, restart your computer, then run battle.net as administrator, then relaunching the game and see if this helps you. After that, if error still o cower, make sure update system and graphics driver. To do that, open settings, click on Windows Update. Click on check for updates. If an update is available, update it. Next, visit AMD, NVIDIA homepage then download the latest version graphics driver. At this step choose perform a clean installation, then follow the instructions. After updating the operating system and graphics drivers, open battle.net. Navigate to a zone, warfare then click on the gear icon, settings, and then click on scan and repair. Once done, relaunching Warzone 2 and see if problem is fixed. Also, suspend GPU, CPU and XMP RAM overclocking. Disable overlay on Steam, GeForce Experience, Discord, AMD Radeon software. You can refer to them on the video I published earlier. In case the error still occurs. Launching the game, then go to Settings. Select Graphics. Select Quality. Scroll down and you will see Shader Quality. Click on it, then choose Medium. If shader quality medium and the error still occurs, then go back and set it to low. And if the error still occurs, then turn off on-demand texture streaming. To do that, go to Settings. Select Graphics. Select Quality. Scroll down and you will see on-demand texture streaming. Double click on it, then select yes. Now, click on display, then scroll down, you will see V-Sync, gameplay, and V-Sync menus. Make sure they are turned off. At last, try play the game normal and see if the problem still bothers you. If it still bothers you, then make sure your game is installed on the system drive and in the program files, x86, folder. After that, clear battle.net cache. To do that, exit battle.net. After that, press Windows key R, then type percent local app data percent and hit enter. Now, delete battle.net and Blizzard Entertainment folder. Next, press Windows key R, then type percent temp percent and hit enter. Now, delete everything. Next, press Windows key R, then type percent program data percent and hit enter.
If Battle.net and Blizzard Entertainment folder exists in the directory, right-click them and select Delete. Visit Battle.net homepage then download Battle.net and install it. Relaunching Battle.net and play the game normal and see if problem is fixed. The next method that I will show you in case the problem persists is delete all files apart from the data folder. To do that, firstly, launch Battle.net and choose the Warzone game. Now, click on the gear icon, Settings, and then tap on the Show in Explorer option to open its installation directory in File Explorer. Next, exit Battle.net and close all the background processes related to it from Task Manager. After that, go back to the previously opened location in File Explorer and delete folders except for the data folder. Then, open the data folder and delete all the files with the extension .idex. Now, delete all the files of size around 2 megabytes. After that, reopen the Battle.net launcher and then go to the Warzone game and select the Update, Install button to download deleted, missing files. Once done, relaunching the Warzone game and see if the problem still bothers you. If the problem persists, try using the graphics driver version that Activision recommended. Finally, perhaps this problem will be fixed by Activision, AMD and NVIDIA soon in the next updates. Please leave a comment if you have any other possible methods. Thanks.